Hello and welcome, I hope you've been having an amazing year so far because today, we're diving into the top 10 anime series of 2024. From heart-pounding action to heartwarming moments, we've got it all covered. So, without further ado, let's jump into the list. Kicking off our list at number 10 is, Delicious in Dungeon. This anime serves up a unique blend of fantasy and culinary delights. Join Laos and his party as they explore the treacherous dungeon, battling monsters, and cooking up delicious meals to survive. It's a feast for the senses. Through thrilling battles with monstrous predators, hilarious kitchen mishaps, and heartwarming moments of camaraderie forged over shared meals, Delicious in Dungeon celebrates the joys of life's simple pleasures. Whether you're a foodie with a discerning palate, an adventurer yearning for thrills, or simply someone seeking a light-hearted escape, this culinary descent into the unknown promises to tantalize your taste buds and warm your soul. The wrong way to use healing magic. In a world obsessed with traditional magic, Yusato's unorthodox methods raise eyebrows and break bones. This hero, whisked away from high school to the fantastical Leos, discovers he possesses a rare talent, healing magic gone berserk. Yusato's unconventional approach lands him in the Leos rescue team, a ragtag bunch tasked with retrieving injured adventurers from the front lines. The show is based on a light novel series, has a manga and mobile game too, and it's been praised for its humor, animation, and fresh take on the hero archetype. In the eighth spot we have, bottom-tier character Tamazaki Kuen Season 2. Tamazaki is a shadow lurking in the corners of high school, convinced society is a rigged game he can't win. Aoi Hinami, a seemingly perfect classmate who, for reasons unknown, sees potential in Tamazaki's social ineptitude. She embarks on a hilariously unorthodox mission, to train him into a real-life, high-tier character. Get ready for a wild ride. Aoi's training regimen involves outlandish challenges and social experiments that force Tamazaki to confront his insecurities head-on. Imagine karaoke sessions disguised as hostage negotiations, school festivals turned into elaborate strategy games, and awkward confessions played out like RPG boss battles. It's cringe-inducing, eye-opening, and oddly heartwarming all at once. Next up, we got Butchajiri. Our laid-back dude Araji Tamashibi reunites with his charismatic pal Madakara Asamine, but a schoolyard brawl with the tough Minotokai group takes a bizarre turn when a colossal genie named Jean pops out, granting wishes with hilarious and unpredictable consequences. Suddenly, Araji and Madakara find themselves embroiled in a battle between rival groups, Sigma Squad and Minotokai, as Jin's wish-warping power throws everything into a crazier spin. Bukahijiri refuses to be boxed into a single genre. It's action-packed one moment, doubled over with laughter the next, as Jean misinterprets wishes and characters react with exaggerated flair. The vibrant animation perfectly captures the frenetic pace and outlandish humor, while the characters, from the stoic Shino to the hot-headed Kayasuk and the ever-enthusiastic Jean, are a delightful mix of archetypes and quirks. But beneath the slapstick and mayhem, Butchajiri, Explores themes of friendship, loyalty, and facing your fears. Up next we have, Classroom of the Elite. In the pressure cooker of Tokyo Kudo Ikusiai, where students are ranked and segregated like lab rats, Class D returns to the heat in Season 3. Stakes rise higher than ever as a year-long point competition intensifies, and a mysterious school-wide special task throws another wrench in the ruthless game. Kiyotaka Ayanokoji, Class D's enigmatic leader, must strategize on a whole new level. Alliances shift like desert sands, old rivalries resurface, and the ever-smiling queen bee, Kushida, hides a web of secrets behind her saccharine veneer. Lurking in the shadows, the white room, the school's mastermind, pulls strings, further complicating the already twisted hierarchy. Number 5. The Witch and the Beast. In the world of fears, where magic crackles like lightning and mythical creatures stalk the shadows, two unlikely souls bound by fate forge a bond as fiery as the witches they hunt. Ashoff, a gentle giant shrouded in mystery, carries a coffin strapped to his back, a grim vessel holding secrets and burdens far heavier than mere bones. Gido, a feral girl branded as a witch, hides a monstrous power within her own scarred flesh, a beast unleashed only when danger draws near. Together, they tread a thorny path as members of the Order of Magical Resonance, 
tasked with bringing rogue witches to justice. But their methods are far from orthodox. Ashoff wields his own body like a battering ram, his pain fueling his resilience, while Godot unleashes the beast within, transforming into a terrifying leviathan that leaves enemies quaking in their boots. Their unorthodox approach raises eyebrows and breaks bones, but it gets the job done, with a healthy dose of chaos and bloodshed. At number 4, we got Metallic Rogue. On Mars, under the cold gaze of a crimson sky, humanity coexists with androids known as Neens, a technological marvel and a source of growing unease. In this uneasy partnership, Rouge Red Star, codename Metal Rouge, stands as a stark reminder of the chasm between flesh and metal. A neem with a rebellious past and a cybernetic body sculpted for combat, Rouge navigates the Red Planet's harsh landscape not with a hero's cape, but with a laser pistol strapped to her hip and a sardonic smirk tucked away in her code. Her mission, hunt down the Immortal Nine, a rogue faction of neems who've transcended their programmed mortality and now plot to overthrow humanity. Partnered with the stoic investigator Naomi Orthman, their pursuit takes them beyond the gleaming dome cities and into the desolate rust lands, where secrets lurk in abandoned mining complexes and danger whispers from the wind-scoured canyons. The weakest tamer begins journey to pick up trash. In a world where magical stars mark individuals with taming abilities, Ivy stands ostracized, cursed with the label of starless. Deemed useless and unwanted by her own village, she finds solace in scavenging discarded treasures amidst the rubbish heaps. But her solitary life takes a heartwarming turn when she befriends Sora, a timid slime creature cast aside for its seemingly weak ooze. Ivy and Sora's unlikely partnership sparks the beginning of a remarkable journey. With Ivy's resourcefulness and Sora's surprising adaptability, they venture beyond the village boundaries, navigating vibrant landscapes teeming with fantastical creatures. Their travels aren't solely about exploring, though. Ivy, driven by a deep empathy for the discarded and neglected, embarks on a mission to clean up the world, picking up trash at every stop. Sasaki and Peeps A weary office worker named Sasaki stumbles into a pet shop seeking solace, only to find fate chirping in the form of Peeps, an adorable Java Sparrow. Little does Sasaki know, Peeps is a magician in disguise, whisking him away to the fantastical world of Hiraith. This realm of talking animals, floating islands, and playful spells ignites a spark of adventure in Sasaki's jaded life. Yet, balancing his two worlds proves tricky, with magic-fueled escapades clashing with mundane office routines. Sasaki's journey isn't just about escape, it's about transformation. Hiraith's vibrant chaos teaches him to savor the small things, find joy in the ordinary, and embrace the unexpected. And finally, claiming the throne at the number one spot is none other than solo leveling. In a world where gates spew forth monstrous creatures, Jin Wu languishes as the weakest hunter, barely scraping by in the lowest rank. Haunted by a near-death experience in a double dungeon raid, he stumbles upon a mysterious hidden quest. This unlocks a secret training system, pushing him through grueling ordeals that forge him into a force to be reckoned with. His rise is explosive, leveling up at an unprecedented pace as he devours dungeons and absorbs their powers. Yet, Jin Wu keeps his newfound strength shrouded in shadow, operating as a masked vigilante known as Shadow Soldier. He hones his skills in the fringes, mastering shadow magic and building an army of formidable doppelgangers, all while maintaining his unassuming facade as the E-rank hunter. As his power swells, he attracts the attention of powerful guilds and government agencies, drawn to the enigmatic Shadow Soldier's prowess. Jin Wu navigates this intricate web of intrigue, cautiously revealing his abilities while investigating the hidden forces manipulating the gates and threatening humanity. That's it. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, and if you did, Good job!